So we're really going to ponder the question, is the competitive market efficient in this video and probably in the next couple of videos as well. But let's just start off with the notion of efficiency of competitive equilibrium. So a fact that you need to know is in equilibrium, the quantity demanded equals the quantity supplied and that is pretty intuitive because everything is equal so the quantity demanded uh, must equal the quantity supplied. That's the definition of equilibrium uh, in a general case. Now, marginal benefit to the entire size society, that's our marginal social benefit. Marginal cost to the entire society, that's our marginal social costs, MSB and MSC. Now, the idea is that marginal social benefit is equal to marginal social cost. And this idea delivers an efficient use of resources for the entire society. At the equilibrium quantity, um, which in our graph is shown here as the red, uh, the red line at the intersection at the equi equilibrium quantity, for this graph it's 10, the marginal benefit equals the marginal cost. So this demand curve that we have is also called our marginal benefit uh, curve. Our supply curve is also called a marginal cost curve, so the quantity is in the efficient quantity. Now, when efficient quantity is produced, the total surplus, the sum of consumer surplus plus producer surplus is maximized and buyers and sellers acting in self-interest in end up promoting the social interest. And we're going to go through that in just a bit, but before that, let's just go through this example. So... Uh, this example really uh, focuses on this graph. So if production is less than 10,000 burgers a day, so let's just say it's 5,000 burgers. So let's just pick a different color. So it's 5,000 burgers, so right here. So let's just say that uh, production is 5,000 burgers. That means the marginal burger, one more burger is valued more highly than its cost to produce. That is uh, pretty apparent in this graph. We see here that the supply from the from the providers are only at five thousand, and um, and uh, the price, their marginal cost is uh, like ten dollars or yeah ten dollars per burger. But to the consumer who demand the burgers, they actually when there's only 5,000 burgers provided by the providers they value the burger at $20 so things are not really equal here it's not an equilibrium because providers are providing the burgers uh, five, five uh, burgers uh, for $10 and uh, the consumers really value those five burgers at $20 so that's just a difference uh, a difference between the consumer demand and what the what the providers are providing. Now, let's go on. So we went through the if production is less than ten thousand burgers a day, marginal burger one more burger is valued more highly than its cost to produce. Now let's look at the case if production is more than ten thousand burgers a day, then the marginal burger, which is one more burger, costs more to produce than the value that consumers place on it. So let's just look at 15,000 burgers now. So at 15,000 burgers, uh, at 15,000 burgers, the marginal cost for the suppliers is $20. And uh, how much the consumers value the burgers is at $10. So just the opposite of what was happening when, we, when the suppliers were supplying less than 10,000 burgers, when they supply more than 10,000 burgers, the consumers actually value the burgers at uh, a lower price than than it cost the producers to actually make them. It cost the producers twenty dollars to make a burger, and but then the consumers only value the burgers at ten dollars. So that's the difference uh, here. That's the difference here, uh, where the production is more than ten thousand burgers a day, and the marginal burger, one more burger, costs more to produce than. Uh, the value that consumers place on it. Now at 10,000 burgers a day, at 10,000 burgers a day, the marginal burger is worth exactly what it costs. Uh, suppliers are making the burgers at $15 and uh, and uh, the consumers 
value those burgers at $15. Everything is equal and that is what we call equilibrium. Now I feel like this video has gone on long enough so I'm just gonna go through a short uh, short video in the next video or yeah uh, just gonna go through a short example in the next video but uh, other than that please rate comment subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video thanks for watching